to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. So for your business, forget about the issue of business now. Forget about the issue of fame. Forget about the issue of lifting. Just focus on him and say, Lord, purify my heart. Sincerely. I confess that somewhere along the lines of my pursuit, I've been motivated by other things. Don't feel guilty. This is why you are in the house of God. I saw that man buy a Jeep and something within me said, you are not a failure. He was your classmate. Make sure you get it too. I saw my contemporary ministry demonstrating superior dimensions of power and then I went to fast and said, Lord, don't embarrass me. All I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. All I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be If we stop here tonight, you go back with this understanding and pray. And God will tell you this. For some of you, this is the one. It's not the devil limiting your rising is that God knows if you rise without hearing this message you will be a disaster first to yourself because no eye has seen no ear has heard let me tell you if it's money you are looking for the God in heaven can daze you in a way that you will sit down and look at money and not know what to do with it believe me as I'm saying it now some of you are saying ah God he will not give you you will not answer that prayer until that circumcision happens yes sir That God can make any demand in your life and your answer is yes sir give me the car it was yours from the beginning give me the house it was yours from the beginning give me the ministry it was yours give me the reputation I'm only representing your reputation the reason why you can trust the bank with your money is because of ease of withdrawal when you go to withdraw, there's no stories. God is only able to trust you to the degree to which he can have it back without complaint. Can he give you greatness and fame and make demand? Abraham, take now thy son, thy only son whom thou lovest. After 25 years of mockery. Let me tell you this. Honestly, if it is God you want to do business with, no matter how you pray and fast, the litmus test of death must happen to you. Must. It's a non-negotiable condition. If it is greatness in this kingdom you seek, there will be a demand. Something that is so alive in your life must die one day. Take Isaac. Offer him as a bond offering. I'm not talking money here. And Abraham rose up early. Do you know what that meant to Abraham's family life? What was he going to tell his wife? What were the newspapers? Imagine as a journalist, interpret what happened in our contemporary world today. A very notable prophet of God sacrifices his son. That's the caption. One million likes. One million shares. Madman.
commentaries will come from several places the next one month will be the stories of people yet abraham said i'm willing to risk my reputation that far romans chapter 4 tells us his contemplations even though he was crying his plan was to kill isaac and beg god to bring him back to life you read it is in romans chapter 4. do you know how oil oil that we use for the anointing i hope you know it comes out of olive and it does not just you don't just pluck olive and then oil comes out of it find out how oil is made you have to crush the olive you pass it through a threshing floor or some kind of crushing system and while you look at that olive being crushed you don't even pity it because of the pain you know the end product and out of that crushing oil you want the anointing to heal the sick genuinely not fake miracles you want the anointing to prophesy you want superior grace it won't just come by dropping an offering and hands laid on you no sir there are wells in this kingdom that must be dug through hunger through sacrifice and through death oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh. oh yeah yeah Very quickly, let's make progress. Mystery number two. Shilama Subra Haskadiba Lakatusiata. I won't dwell so much here because we've dealt with it. The second mystery that controls results in this kingdom is called the law of the mind, the law of mental transformation. The law of mental transformation very powerful spiritual law your life will always be a reflection of your mindset a recommendation that is applicable to us it says go and borrow vessels you don't need to borrow oil but borrow vessels borrow not a few and the bible says she gathered vessels and then he said you now shut the door and begin to empty it and then when she emptied it what happened the moment the vessels were expanding the oil started expanding and the bible says and when there was no more vessel the oil stopped flowing i want to lift you but your mindset is too small for your prayer request if I really answer that prayer, you don't have the capacity. You see, every time people receive more than what their mindset and their hands can hold, they waste it and they abuse it. The miracle of multiplying five loaves and two fish taught us a lesson. These guys were hungry. And when multiplication started happening without management, multiplication without management led to wastage. And they all left. And Jesus said, oh dear, mankind, here is the lesson go and gather the crumbs so there were baskets to put that crumbs in and when they gathered it it was 12 basket full of wastage if you pour water in a cup it is only the size of the cup you you see that now the size of the cup water will be filled just to that level and every other thing will be a waste so god wants to lift you but in your mind your mind cannot hold more than certain levels of leadership, more than certain levels of expansion. You may be a pastor and you are saying, Lord, I need you to bless me with members. And he says they are all over. There are over 7.2 billion people on earth. I can bring as many. But do you have the enlightenment and the transformation to manage what you are praying for? That's why the Bible says God answers what we ask or think your mind is a prayer warrior too when your mouth stops praying your mind continues that prayer so when your mouth is saying lord lift me your mindset says lord forget about that lifting i am not ready for it yet 
both your mouth and your mind are prayer warriors now you see most times in church we don't teach this because it doesn't seem to look very spiritual so we downplay it and we say you just continue to pray and we have people who continue to pray they study scripture and yet they never rise to notable points of influence they are not represented in anything superior I made a vow and a covenant with God that I would never raise a people who are just spiritually accurate, spiritually alive. I believe in influence. And influence happens through transformed mindsets, through renewal of the mind. Are we together now? The Bible says they limited God, Psalm 78, I believe verse 41, that they limited the Holy One in the wilderness. As mighty as God is, men can limit Him. They limited the Holy One. Could it be that your business can expand more than you have seen? Could it be that your ministry can expand? You know, I, I told you at the inaugural service of Koinonia, when the Lord spoke to me about coming to Abuja and all of that, I looked at it and I said, well, Lord, that's all right. And he made me to buy the map of Abuja, the map of Nigeria, the map of Africa, and the map of the world. Till today, they are on my table. I think something like that. And I looked at Abuja in the map and it became very small. Just six local governments. I said, I'm well able. It became small. Not small to demean it. But I said, there is nothing complicated about doing ministry. I said it sincerely. It would have sounded like arrogance. But my mind was receiving it. Hmm. I believe in the power of a transformed mind. Your mind is the authorized usher that leads your body to your tomorrow. Anywhere your mind has not entered, the gate will not be open for your body to enter. You don't have to fake any living. No, there's no point faking it. Your mind does not need a visa to travel with the spirit. Your mind does not need visa stamped on any passport. It can travel while your body is still where it is and go and verify that that tomorrow is there. It will come back and usher your body to that realm. It's true. The mind of Christ, superior belief systems. Listen, you have to conquer the spirit of smallness. Not in a competitive way. We already spoke about the law of surrender. But small things. You do a business, you are just thinking of your family members. Very subsistent living. You, he says, in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. God is giving you a vision to have a bank. And you are saying, no, no, it's not for us. Oh dear. If your mind defeats you, you are defeated completely. Completely. The miracle of a transformed mind is a real miracle. You have to be convinced that God is able. I can do all things. It's a superior thinking. Fathers like Bishop David Oyedipo will call it a far above mentality. I've been exalted. Don't let people bully you. We live in a society where people can intimidate you. They look at your shoe and say, your shoe is cheap, your dress is cheap, and they make you feel stupid for going through the law of process. Find strength. Your mind is ahead of your body already. Someday, when your body now wears what your mind is wearing, you will see the difference. Do not be ashamed of your journey tomorrow. Don't try to fake anything with honor. See, success is not what you pursue. Success is what you attract by who you are becoming more than what you do. You attract success by growth. Sustainable success is attracted by growth, not just by doing things. When you have grown, almost anything can prosper in your hand. Are you blessed? The law of mental transformation. When I learned this, I became a student of transformation till the day I see his face. I have gathered materials. I continue to invest in my mind because I don't want to be limited. There is a generation that is dependent.
depending on your transformation you cannot afford to be small all these all these childish things we do around you just find someone's car you go and lie down on it they will arrest you one day that's not how to grow hello please don't feel bad but that's not how to grow faith is not foolishness many things that we do in the name of faith that's not faith why fake something that can be real listen i will always give this analogy can you imagine someone who is trying to steal a piece of meat in a pot and just when he's stealing it they cut him and say it was your own the meal was prepared for you now imagine how stupid you will feel stealing what is your own the bible says all things are yours why fake it is your inheritance is your destiny already this is not mere motivation it's true he that cometh from above is above all the bible says to set your mind and your heart on the things above and not things of the earth there are things i believe about god there are things i believe about life you carry a failure mentality no matter what kind of prayer is prayed on you you will fail i assure you you will fail and you will feed your mind back and say i knew it and you were right <laughs> listen to me i know that there are many people here who aspire to do great things for the kingdom god is not against your greatness he says i will increase your greatness and comfort you round about god is about making us great but listen to me the key is not running around trying to do things settle down and build your mind apostle i don't have capital all i know is god will give me money leave the issue of money the problem is not money the problem is to search for knowledge listen when you start growing in your mind there are some clothes you are wearing that must run away from you because that mindset will drive them away it's not about pride or humility whether you like it or not your there are names in your contact that will start going away when your mind is growing and others will start coming because the level of your transition does not allow to still have those physical conditions if our father in the lord baba deboye comes to stand here now and tells you ah something happened and my car spoiled some of you who would never give your relatives money for anything immediately right now with one phone call there will be cars lined up as if this is a car stand why because his level of transformation does not allow him to beg at that level again he has not this is a law where is the first phone you bought you can't even remember and you can't remember giving it out your mindset as it was transformed it became incorrect to still hold that kind of phone now i'm not saying holding an expensive phone is necessarily a proof of transformation just as an analogy have you seen someone who sits in a business class you know he's not supposed to be there everything around his life says you are not yet here you are sitting in a business class your shoe is betraying you your you don't know anybody there you don't have relationships that support that level of result it's a physical reality you have not yet arrived in you are holding a rubber ring life will push you back to where your mindset really makes you but when you grow ah, i wish i were not the one teaching this but it is true listen from that one room you can start growing you are learning what is the mentality of great people what does it take to have a great ministry what is the mentality of uncommon leaders not what is their results don't go around admiring people's results and laying on your hands and just claiming claim their mindset you don't need to forget about the result if the mindset is yours the signs that follow that mindset will come listen there are some of you the mindset you have you will never be able to cross 1 million in your account even if they give you 10 million 9 million would disappear mysteriously through carelessness through whatever and reduce you back to that realm because that is the realm your mind can take believe me
every ministry expands to reflect the mindset of the leaders there every business expands to reflect the mindset of the leaders every home expands to reflect the mindset of the parents every nation expands to reflect the mindset of their leaders singapore was turned from a third world nation to a first world nation not because something came from heaven and landed there superior ideas dubai was turned into a heaven yes they've not given their life to christ in as much as we know but they are living on heaven in heaven now as far as paradise is concerned on earth someone can sit down and see a whole sea and yet in it he's seen something else ah, may god give us the miracle of superior belief systems in the name of jesus christ three keys to transit in mentally number one exposure exposure is a powerful blessing exposure is a double-edged sword it can kill and it can make there is a kind of exposure that will sorry to use that word it will rape your mindset you can be exposed wrongly and from that day you will never be patient towards life again but there is a correct exposure what is exposure broadening your horizon opening you up to the possibilities that exist beyond your frame of reference exposure until you watch a miracle if you watch somebody rise from a wheelchair in front of you you will not doubt it again sometimes god lifts us by taking us to places even though we are not really ready for it he keeps you there and you don't know what is happening to you till you leave that place you will be angry with where you are going back to that's a miracle and you make up your mind that in the name of jesus i won't be at this level again jesus was born in nazareth but he refused to allow nazareth live in him at age 12 when his contemporary teenagers were running up and down he was investing in his mind even though he was the son of god as a result in three years he took the world and said i'm done and levitated with honor back to heaven africa we must wake up the problem is not lack of mineral resources the problem is not only leadership leadership is there but more than leadership we are victims of our thinking the many years of servitude has done something to us the color of your skin does not have an effect on your mind your background and where you come from does not have an effect on your mind there are no second class citizens on earth except you make for yourself he that cometh from above the moment you receive jesus you are born into a superior class of living this is a fact Please make up your mind that you will not be small again. Make up your mind that you will not be small. That what my father did not give me, my children will eat it. Where I could not go. You can't transfer the same mediocrity to your children. It's okay that, okay, those who came before you could not go that far. Don't keep giving flimsy excuses while life is passing you. And it does not come by hustling. Hustling is a demonic strategy. Work circumspectly as wives. Puzzling is why people don't give God the glory. The Bible says, except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord watches over a city. He said the watchmen watch it, but in vain. It is vain to wake up early in the morning, to sleep late in the night, only to eat the bread of sorrow, but he gives his beloved sleep. We have systems of advantage in this kingdom. We are not left alone. The favor of God is there. The capacity to restore is there. The gift of man, there. The ministry of the Holy Spirit, showing you what to do part time. Shout, I cannot fail. Please say it, I cannot fail. I reject failure. Now, if you confess like that and don't contend for transformation, you will soon be angry with what you are saying because it will remain empty talk for a very long time there are people who have done it for many years oh i will not fail yet they keep going down 
confession is powerful but it's not the only key to the success equation content for transformation more than the clothes you buy invest in your mind buy materials superior materials technology has made it very easy for transformation with data of next to nothing you can settle down and watch videos and materials that that are consistent with scripture that edify you get all my teachings on them on mindsets they are free get them go online search for them they are free let the holy spirit do a walk you have to understand how the mind thinks i'm sorry to say it but secular education school does not teach people how to think no achievement is a science there are exact equations that produce achievement results you must sustain the ability to replenish and here's where it lies so you don't fear your success I submit to you in the name of Jesus Christ that the results that we see and we rejoice with it is ultimately God's doing but he's given keys there is no fear in these results because it will remain so it did not come by magic it did not come by mistake it can be replicated anywhere in the world and it is true you only fear when your result came by luck when it comes by knowledge knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom you can find rest listen like Abraham he says from where thou art lift up your eyes I'm speaking to someone by the Spirit from where you are not where you want to be from where you are you can make up your mind dr. miles Munro, my eternally revered mentor changed my life radically was one of the first people the Lord began to use to change my belief system I love him even in death bless his soul I heard his story how that he grew up in a family of how many people and they would look from their room and they could see the stars that was the level of the poverty and he made up his mind that things would not be this way but empty talk does not lead to results he began to contend for transformation by the truth more than clothes by the truth are we together Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 verse 8 Philippians 4 verse 8 finally brethren finally koinonia whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just please look up whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise think on these things I never go for a meeting wondering will the power of God move will the sick be healed no 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 I have a mentality I never go alone I never go alone though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death thou art with me divine presence is a secret I know that his power his divine power I never come for a meeting wondering will people be blessed we're talking the power of the Holy Ghost here and the Lord walking with them confirming the words with signs following there will never be a week where there is no testimony here it's impossible God must bear witness
It's not a Pentecostal song. It is truth from scripture. The Bible says a man of honor who does not know will die like a beast in the field. Knowing who you are is not being aggressive and insulting people around. No. That's insecurity. There is a settled confidence. walking in power walking in miracles I expect favor every day every day honestly I really do I expect favor please sit down we have to rush so you must trust God for grace write two scriptures down you can read them when you get home very quickly genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 7 the key verse is verse 5 genesis chapter 11 11 i meant to say genesis 11. just write it and then you go and study at home but this was the story of nimrod kush building that tower whose top will reach the heavens the Bible says, verse 4, since you've projected it, let's just look at 4 and 5 quickly. The Bible says, Nimrod, he began to market this idea. It started with an idea. Let us build a city whose top may reach the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered on earth. Look what happened in the realm of the spirit. Verse 5, while Nimrod was busy working on their minds, the Bible says, the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men have finished building. Once their mindset received it, God saw a building rising in the spirit. And he came to say, what is happening? They've not started building on the ground. But their mindset was receiving it. Everything in life is built twice. It is first built in your mind. Then it is built physically. Whatever is built physically and not built in your mind, you will lose it. But destroy anything physical if it's built in your mind. The law says it must be rebuilt. It's why wealthy people may go down, they may have a season of some catastrophic events, financially and otherwise, and you see them smiling. You are even crying for them and yet they are smiling. They who are the victims, because they know that they not only sustain the ability to be fruitful, they have the ability to replenish. You will only fear your results when you do not know the laws that produce it. Watch this. I will always like to use people who cook. Imagine with me for a moment that you were to go and serve guests and while you were preparing the meal, something happened. And then everything just poured completely on the floor. And then they give you two more hours or three more hours. You will not be afraid again because you can still go back to the kitchen. Once the ingredients are there and you are the one who truly cooked, it's trouble if you just bought it somewhere. And the place is closed then you are in trouble but if you were the one who prepared it you can go back with confidence and even use the anger to make a better version of that thing and say what i forgot to add yesterday as i'm coming back now i'm adding it there law number three are you getting blessed the third mystery in this kingdom that has been responsible for the uncommon extraordinary results of the saints is called the law of mastery and competence. The law of mastery, the law of competence. Write it down, please. Proverbs 18 and verse 16. A man's gift 
maketh room for him and the bible leaves an assurance that the gift like an usher can bring him before great men a man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men listen to me it is powerful to be valuable you know what it means to be valuable to be valuable means that you sustain the ability to provide solutions that are needed and useful as far as the context of a civilization is concerned listen carefully not just the ability to provide solutions the solutions must be needed and they must be useful with respect to that civilization you are considered valuable to the degree to which your life and your skills provide solutions as a man of God I'm providing a solution the solution may be spiritual in context but it is still a solution number one I'm connecting you to faith number two I'm using the agency of the Word of God as a reference to transform your thinking your thinking now being transformed will change your life I'm standing in partnership with the Holy Spirit to provide supernatural solutions healings miracles signs and wonders that is value many believers are just waiting for some magic to happen as far as their relevance is concerned let me tell you this men will only come to your light not to you if you are not carrying anything of value nobody will look for you Gentiles don't come to you they come to your light let me tell you why you are alone you are alone because there is nothing notable coming out of you that is commanding the attention of men value is powerful you must have something to offer listen the table of greatness was so designed that you don't just go there and shift a chair and sit down the condition to join the great to sit on that table is that you first provide your value then that value is vetted there is a threshold level of competence you must attain in order to be granted a seat with the great being valuable as powerful as it is is not enough the highest position in every organization is for masters competence is a promoter it can lift you beyond your background it can lift you beyond your limitations there's a kind of music called music of the masters many of you have listened to it those guys have mastered the art of not failing when they sit down and they are playing they have come to a point where they are one with what they are doing they are not hoping they are right oh you must trust God to be a master at something nobody will come and indefinitely be loyal to you for nothing no when you study leadership there is a dimension of leadership that comes by results people want to see results they love you but they love themselves too they want to see genuine replicable consistent results if you're a man of God you must make up your mind that I will be competent I will be competent in ministry word delivery excellent prayer life excellent ethics of ministry administration and managerial intelligence excellent refuse to be small value is powerful when I learned this I began to rejoice I found my way out of mediocrity I found my way out of jealousy I found my way out of competition mastery lifts you to such a pedestal in life you are so distinguished it will look like life is flattering you but it's true let me tell you this I learned this and for the purpose of this discussion tonight I want you to write it down that the kingdom of God operates based on a reward system the kingdom of God operates based on a reward system and there is an auxiliary law that is tied to the law of competence the law of value the law of mastery I want to quote it for you 
so that you have it down and i pray that it will contribute to your lifting and your rising are you ready that the rewards that we have in life the rewards that we have in life is directly proportional to three things the rewards that we have in life is directly proportional to three things number one the need or the demand for what you do your rewards our rewards in life is directly proportional to number one the need or the demand for what we do number two our ability or proficiency to do what we do this is where skill and excellence comes in your ability to do what you do and then number three the difficulty in replacing you i come again our rewards in life financial honor whatever kind of reward whether financial or psychic whatever kind of reward will always be in exact ratio in exact proportion to number one the demand or the need for what you do number two your ability to do what you do number three the difficulty in replacing you when there are easy replacements for you you will never go far in life this is not from a competitive standpoint but you must make up your mind to be exceptional it is true that no man is indispensable but make it difficult to find an alternative to you and the company will retain you begging i assure you as much as they are downsizing people in this nation there are people who will not spend one month without a job they are too competent for that kind of condition they literally are the brains behind many corporations many years ago i used to know a gentleman he was working three jobs and he was only working three or four times a week he used to live in kaduna state but he worked in lagos and the company would fly him every week he was an it consultant if he coughs i think they'll buy him a, a pharmacy not a drug listen you must be so valuable and you must be so competent there is a measure of honor that only comes to masters i made up my mind and you've heard me say it i don't have an ambition to learn and know everything and to be exceptional in everything but in the areas where god has called me i made a covenant with myself and my life that i will stretch myself to a point of uncanny mastery in ministry in leadership every grace that is available for signs and wonders i will contend for it by light thank god for that which is given me but i will not rest and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you listen you're a music you're a, you a worshiper you're a music artist don't just sing and be looking for those who know you to keep recycling you around a day will come they'll be tired of you because there will be too many alternatives you must trust god for illumination you must trust god for mastery learn at the feet of masters rise to a point where your songs don't die dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko Pobre Kateka Nakata The phase of development Lord grant me the discipline